Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you the Surrey Biofuel Facility. This state-of-the-art $68 million facility not only sets a new benchmark for sustainability in Canada, but it also has the distinction of being the first closed-loop organic waste management system in all of North America. All of the City of Surrey curbside organic waste will be delivered to this facility. Uh, that's about 65,000 metric ton currently. Uh, the balance will be delivered to the facility uh, by a combination of commercial organic waste and other municipalities in the region. Sending Surrey's green waste collection here for composting keeps it out of the landfill. If you take food waste and you put it in a landfill and then the methane that's generated from that food waste uh, makes its way into the atmosphere, you have this massive greenhouse gas impact. Overall, solid waste is, is around 5% of all the greenhouse gas impacts in Canada and across North America. The biogas byproduct of the composting process is captured and used to power the compost collection trucks. We're really mimicking what happens in a landfill in an accelerated pace. So material will be brought into a digester, we'll seal the door shut on that digester, we'll feed the microbes on that waste, we'll extract the oxygen and purge the digester with CO2. And over a 30-day period it generates the biogas, and that gas is injected into the Fortis BC grid. The gas that we're producing is carbon neutral. It's very similar to the natural gas that's in the gas grid. The, the big difference is the gas that we're producing stems from organic material, such as vegetation or food scraps. The facility is expected to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by about 49,000 tons per year, which is the equivalent of taking over 10,000 cars off the road for a year, while also keeping green waste out of the landfill and making high quality fertilizer. The Surrey Biofuel Facility is a critical piece of new infrastructure in the region that supports recycling those organics and achieving our waste reduction and recycling goals. It really pushes beyond just composting and so it's a really high level circular economy approach to managing those organics.